hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel today we will see another lead code problem top k frequent elements uh, into this problem we have a integer array called nums and we have an integer k so what we need to do we need to uh, find out the uh, we need to find out that top k frequent elements so let's say if the given integer is k as a 2 if you see the first uh, example we have the array uh, this array of uh, of six elements and we have k as a two right so what do we need to do we need to find uh, that each element how many times it occurs then we need to uh, return that top uh, frequent element if it is two then we need to return that top two uh, frequent elements so here in this array if you see that one we have uh, how many times one we have into this array one we have three times for two we have two times and for three we have one times right so basically we need to uh, we need to find the sequences of that elements right so earlier we have seen how we can find the sequences so same approach we can apply here with the help of has said we can achieve these things so this is the uh, one part of the problem we will find we need to find out this uh, you know uh, the count of uh, each and every elements so from here what do we need to do we need to uh, check that uh, k as a uh, here you can see k is 2 so we need to return this top to this one and this one the element will be 1 and 2 right this 1 and 2 we need to return so how we will achieve this uh, functionality how uh, which approach we need to use here so first and foremost uh, first easy approach we can see the sorting right so what do we need to do we'll do simply sort these uh, things this count right three two one so if we do sort we'll get that top k position right so but for sorting we know that the complexity for sorting is a bit high right the complexity if we use that the best algorithm also we need to uh, it little bit cost uh, costlier right so it will be log uh, uh, in log n right so this is the in log n approach uh, if we use the sorting so my question is can we do the better right obviously we can have the different approach and different approaches have the pros and cons so in this case if we use that heap heapify uh, we have the data structure heap right there also we can find we can achieve a little bit better solution let's see how we can achieve that hip hip approach so let's say we will create we'll simply whatever set whatever uh, has said we have we'll simply uh, uh, we'll convert it to hip right with the help of hipify method so in the heap the concept of hip uh, is like that the top uh, top mode uh, the top nodes whatever we have that will be the highest value let's say in the top node we have three and the children whatever we will have that will be lower than three so we'll simply fetch this three right we will simply get the highest order or highest element of this uh, three two one but the uh, for hippify method that is also costlier so uh, here the time complexity of uh, this hippify method uh, that will be again uh, big O of k log k. So uh, this is a little bit better than uh, log. Uh, this is little bit better than sorting approach because here we we have the k right. As long as n is greater than k, it's a better approach. Now can we do a better? can we do uh, can we achieve that linear uh, complexity let's say can we uh, achieve with big o of n so yeah obviously here also we can achieve that uh, linear complexity we will see how we can achieve i hope everyone uh, knows about that bucket uh, approach right bucket sort how we will do in in sorting we have the bucket bucket means each and every element will put into the bucket so we'll see how we can uh, achieve with the help of bucket sort okay so let's say we have uh, here we have uh, that seven element and we have the highest element uh, here it is three so here we will create the three bucket or one two and three 
so what we will do uh, and against this element against this one we will count it and we will put that count into a bucket this bucket is basically an array we can see uh, we can think about an array and the index will be element and that bucket value uh, array value will be that count okay so we'll see how we can achieve uh, these things let's say we have this array we have uh, this array of seven elements we have uh, three one uh, one three two two and one thousand so the first approach here we can see uh, we we uh, need to use uh, index as a number let's change the color okay index as a numbers and the count as a value so first will be one one how many times one is there three times right and for two how many times are there two times for three one times so like that way 1000 we have one the problem with this approach is this array is really unbound we know the length of the array is bounded but the element of the array we don't have any control and now we can see we have the 1000 but it might possible we have more than 1000 element we might have 10,000 1 lakh or 10 lakhs right the element we do not have control and for that max element we need to create the max amount of array right so that will be a time consuming and it's a very base complexity approach right so for bucket sort will be uh, a good approach until and unless that app uh, that bucket are limited if we uh, create a more than you know one lakh or ten lakhs bucket is the huge list that will be more time complexity more pace complexity so in this approach what we need to see we need to find some way so that we can limit that uh, number of bucket so let's see how we can do that so let's say we have uh, this array right so what will be the size of the array for this array the size is 7 right the size is 7 we know this size is the uh, is the constant things right if we send an array we will get that size so what will be the logic here let's say if if the size of the array is 7 we can say confidently the most frequent element whatever it is if the all ele elements are exactly same that total count will be seven that means if we have everything same as a one here then total number of count count of one will be seven so that case in that case this this count is always be the constant so we can tweak here right we can say we can uh, we can use count as a index here this will be the count as a index and value as a element so that will be the tweak here because this count is a constant it's the bounded right that count will be max count max count will be the maximum of length of the array so this is the bounded things so here we can see let's say this is the one first is one so for one count for one count how many elements are there one count we have three and we have one thousand right so here this will be a array and here we'll put this three and one thousand like that like that way we have two so two for two count we have two only right again this will be an array why I am using an array because he, if you see this count can be same for two element right so that for three we have one count and what we will uh, gonna to do from uh, right side from right side will uh, will iterate this array and we'll check whether we have any uh, any element whose count is seven we do not have here uh, whether we have six count element we do not have whether we have five count element we do not have four count we do not have for three count we have one then we'll in the result we'll put one right and same way next we have for two count we have two in result we'll put as a two so uh, now we have achieved the two element right then we'll simply return this so this is the logic we have 
uh, what do we get one and two so now let's say uh, let's see how we can achieve this approach right so in coding what we need to do is uh, for bucket so we need to create a uh, array uh, that count that index will be the count and value will be that uh, element right so and also we need to uh, use the hash set to count this right so we'll see so first we'll create a uh, array here let me create one array let's say let uh, frequency array equals to new array this will be a new array and what will be the length of this array that will be length of the actual array right and plus one why we are using plus one because the length of the array the count will be uh, length of the array starting from zero right the count is starting for from one so that's why we need to use that plus one right and then we'll use that count map this is the hash set to count that actual uh, actual count of the uh, we need to use to find the frequency of the array and the result is that again it's the array that we need to return it right so now what we are going to do first we need to initiate this uh, frequency array right let me initiate it initiate it with a dummy array let's say 0 i less than free frequency array dot length i plus plus and here what we are gonna to do here we are gonna to do frequency array i equals to empty array this will be the initialization we, if we do not initialize we will get uh, a error right so then what we will do we will again use a for loop to initialize that count map the hash map we are using right to initialize that we need to again use a for loop i less than nums dot length i plus plus here we know the logic here right and what will be the logic here we need to use count count map count map whatever we have the index for uh count map that will be the number right and we will use this and we will simply increment this right count map whatever value we have for count map nums i plus one uh, here one uh, logic we need to add right because if this one is a uh, uh, if this one is undefined then we need to use as a zero right so that one thing we need to take in care let me check this is the count map count map uh, nums i and looks fine so now what we need to do now we need to use uh, that we need to use this hash map to initiate the frequency array we'll use the for loop let we'll use that key value pair right key value uh, of sorry of object dot entries of object dot entries and we'll pass that map count map so here we will get the object value pair and in this case what we are going to do here we are going to add a condition if frequency uh, array if the value frequency array whatever value in has my value is a count right this will be the index right so in the frequency if if that index whatever we have we pass this index and you will check the value contain if there is a value exist 
then we will push that that particular element into that frequency array frequency array value dot push we will push that key right and if it is not exist then what we will do we will use that else and we will simply assign it instead of pushing we will assign that key okay so the now we are good to assign this uh, frequency array now we need to fetch it from the frequency array right so how we can fetch that let's say we have for loop let uh, i equals to from backward we need to do uh, fetching right from backward we need to traverse the loop right so we'll use that frequency array let me copy it it will be more easier right frequency array dot length minus one i i uh, what will be that uh, i i will be greater than equals to zero right greater than equals to zero and i minus minus and here what we are going to do is that again we need to use that uh, another for loop because the value is a loop here right uh, so value is the array here right so let n of frequency frequency array of i and if if it is there uh, then what we are going to do we will simply result into the result array we will push that n that number will simply push it because in into this array whatever we have if we have that element we will simply push that things right and we will stop here if we if we encounter the k number right so that condition we need to write so let's say result dot length if the laser dot length equals to k then what we're gonna to do we'll return the result i think that's pretty much so let's run this hope we'll successfully okay it's got succeed let me submit this one okay so this is how we can achieve this uh, solution thank you very much stay tuned for more uh, coding related articles or videos